How do you feel like you wrestled tonight? Um, I feel like I wrestled pretty well, you know. Um, Could have gotten my attacks <coughs> a, little, a little sooner. Um, guy got in on me, but I stayed stingy. But overall, I was came out firing for the most part and got the fall. So pretty happy with how I performed. Kind of walk us through your pinning sequence. What did you see there? Um, you know, I was just letting them up. I've been watching some <clears throat> just videos on flow wrestling of guys that score a lot of points, you know, and there's a lot of opportunities where you're cutting a guy and, you know, they come up, they come up kind of nonchalant and you just go for the cradle right there. I mean, I'm pretty long. I have long arms and, you know, I just tried it out and it worked. Who you been watching? Um, it's a guy on one of our enemy teams, so I'd rather not discuss. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, for you, how big is it to capitalize when you do get this opportunity to, to take the map for the team? Um, I mean, it means a lot, you know. I've been, uh, sometimes, you know, it can be really tough being in the back of the spotlight, not in the spotlight. But, uh, you know, I've been staying focused, been staying dedicated, and, you know, a lot of that goes out to uh, Tom Brands. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but at the beginning of the season, I, I was really struggling, deciding on, you know, where my role exactly was here. You know, I was a starter last year and uh, had Austin DeSanto come in and I uh, kind of went through a phase where I didn't really know where I belonged, I guess, and I was almost trying to take a shortcut, trying to go up to go up weight class. And, you know, I had a long talk with Tom and, you know, it was, it was way more than wrestling about deciding a weight class, you know. We talked about what would be the best for me as a person, you know, I'm gonna have to be more dedicated if I go down to 33. I'm gonna have to be more focused with my social life, you know, with wrestling, coming in and getting extra workouts. And overall, that's gonna make you a better person even when you're done wrestling. So, you know, you have someone, a coach like that, that fights for you. When I get my opportunity, you know, I'm fighting for Coach Brands, you know. And then on the sideline, I got Austin DeSanto, who he had to sit out of me. And I have him right next to me getting me ready to go. And that's another guy you want to fight for, you know. We're a team here. We're a family. And uh, that meant a lot for me. That's what people don't see on the outside, you know. They think DeSanto's got a bad rep. You know, he's right there cheering me on, getting me mentally ready. I mean, that's what people don't see about the guy. What's the, what's the challenge for you? You know, the, the, the times that we've seen you in the Big Ten, you've really risen to the occasion. What's the challenge for you when you have to be ready? Whereas last year, like you said, you were the starter at being ready whenever you're called upon, basically. You know, I guess the challenge is just staying focused, you know, always being ready. Even when I'm weighing in, I'm, I'm not wrestling, you know, I'm still always ready. Always ready is what the coaches preach to us, you know. You never know what's going to happen. He could slip and hurt his ankle on the way out to the mat. So you just always got to be focused and be ready for when it's your time. All right, thanks, Paul.